What's up guys? We got another Cyrax video today. This time he's telling the truth about everything, which means he's gonna lie a lot. So let's check it out. What up y'all? I have a little message for Marty and Michael and everyone out there trying to set me up. Marty, you're the reason I'm in this. You're the reason that I'm in this court case. You're the one I fought, motherfucker. You want around? I'll tell you how. You're at fault for all this. Because if you hadn't have fucking trolled me like you did, if you hadn't have mentally screwed with me, and you hadn't have bullied me the way you fucking did, and spread all those rumors and those lies, and illegally entrapped me like you did, I wouldn't be in this position. Because if you had not fucking illegally entrapped me, because you were fucking jealous as shit, and wanted me to your fucking self, if you hadn't done all that, I wouldn't be in this position. I don't know how Marty setting you up two years ago caused you to attack a guy with a bat two weeks ago, but uh, yeah, it's a new one. You wanna know how? Because if you had not held, if you have not, if you had not illegally entrapped me, these rumors wouldn't have been spread. And then this whole thing with this douchebag vigilante, this dude needed to wear myself, committing vigilanteism, on top of using fighting words on my home property. I wouldn't be in this position of possibly going to jail. Ooh, fighting words. Guess Cyrax took like one day of law school and heard something he thought would save him. So Marty, I blame you. And Michael, I blame you for being stupid enough to follow in his footsteps. And being an opportunist and going along with shit. Cool. So, you know, go in front of the judge and tell them you blame Music Biz Marty and Michael J. Hacking. And I'm sure he'll say, oh, cool chance. You go free now. After all the shit I did for you, motherfucker. All the shit I did for you. All the stuff I helped you out with. All the fucking images that I helped you create, that you used. All the audio files, the hundreds of fucking pieces that I did for you. Because I respect you as a business person. And what'd you do? Hmm. You made yourself and your family look like a total fucking joke by following Marty and what he's doing. Actually, he made himself look like a joke pretending to be your friend. And now he's just trying to salvage any fucking self-respect he has left. And I know a lot of people are sitting there saying, oh, what does that do with the situation? Everything, motherfuckers. Everything. Because Marty, if, like I said, if you hadn't gotten fucking jealous and greedy and used Nashville Mafia to illegally entrap me, I wouldn't be in this position. So yeah, motherfucker, I blame you. Yeah, anything to avoid blaming yourself for trying to have sex with a 14-year-old. No, it's all Marty's fault. Fucking creep. Oh, and as for aware of myself, dude, 
You had no business being here. You came here to start a riot with my neighborhood. Committing vigilantism and you decided to use fighting words on your shitty little sign. See, what y'all don't understand is that I was in the right in what I did. No, you absolutely fucking weren't. That's why you got arrested. That's why you're in trouble. That's the part you can't seem to fucking understand. The consequences are because you fucked up big time because you're a fucking idiot. And just accept some fucking consequences for once. I had every right to do what I fucking did. Every right. Because what that man used on that sign was fighting words. Those words are considered a fucking weapon. What he did is called vigilantism, which is a fucking crime. That's illegal. Yeah, but you don't need to convince the internet. You need to convince a court. And sitting here making videos isn't going to help you at all. Not to mention starting a fucking riot. To where one and a half my neighborhood came down my street and attacked me and my family. It may not have been physical attacks, but they were still attacks nonetheless. And I'm not allowed to sit here and be silent. Absolutely no one was worried that you'd be silent about it. Being silent is the one thing that everyone knows you cannot be other than, you know, good at anything. Because what that man did was wrong. Now, should I have come out there with a bat? Not necessarily. But when you show up to my dwelling and my house, And you commit vigilantism after inciting a freaking riot and using fighting words on a sign. Those fighting words are considered a weapon. Don't blame me, look it up. Yeah, Cyrus can't look it up because he can't fucking read, but someone told him and you should go look it up for yourself because he's, he's, he's sure of it. What that man did was incite a riot, used fighting words, and then backed it all up with vigilantism, trying to make himself to be the good guy and me the bad guy. Not to mention the police acting unprofessional as fuck. Sitting there not giving me a chance to freaking explain what went down. Or get my side of the story. They heard your side of the story and they decided to arrest you. They also saw video and they also talked to your neighbors and decided to arrest you. Just because you wanted to explain again and again until they agreed with you doesn't mean that you were right. They were being prejudiced against me. If anybody deserves to be in jail, it's that motherfucker that showed up here, not me. Joseph Lawson deserves to be arrested, not me. I didn't do anything wrong. I was defending my fucking dwelling. I was defending my home and my family. From people that were inciting a fucking riot. And since when is defending your family a fucking crime? 
Yeah, but you didn't defend your family. You didn't defend your house. You ran out to the street to attack someone with a sign because you didn't like what the sign said. You're never gonna make it right, no matter how many times you try to lie and twist it and make up a Cyrax reason why it's okay and a Cyrax law while he was right. You fucked up and the judge is gonna think you fucked up too and fucking sends you to jail, I hope. When is defending your family against somebody who incited a riot and used fighting words and pretending to be a vigilante? Since when is defending your family like that against that shit a crime? Last time I checked, a man has the right to defend his own. A man has the right to defend his home, his dwelling, his family, and his property. You don't have any property to defend. You've never had any property to defend. It's not even Sally's property to defend. It's fucking Karen's. See what y'all don't realize? That man came onto my property. And then when I swung the bat, he stepped off of our property. Prove me wrong, motherfuckers. Prove me wrong. I dare y'all to prove me wrong. Cause none of y'all motherfuckers were there when he first showed up. He first stepped foot in our yard, which gave me every right to do what I motherfucking did. It absolutely does not give you the right to attack someone with a bat because they had a sign you don't like and accidentally touched the tip of your lawn, you fucking psychopath. Not to mention, he came there to incite a riot. He came there to be a vigilante. He came there using fucking fighting words. Which gave me every reason to do what I did. Did I want to? No. But when you show up here, you use fighting words, you pretend to be a vigilante, and you try to incite a riot against me and my family, guess what? I have every right to do what I need to do to protect my family and my people and my dwelling. So did the Akron PD screw you. You guys are crooked as fuck. You guys are prejudiced against me. All you ever do is sit there and laugh at me. Like I don't fucking matter because I ain't got money. Well, wrong answer, motherfucker. You can't just walk around and treat someone like shit just because they ain't got money. At the end of the day, motherfucker, we're all humans. We're all people. We all deserve the same respect as each other. Uh, I'm not sure you're actually human. You're kind of a goblin. But, you know, you don't deserve any respect at all just because you're alive. You've done nothing but make the police's job harder and make everyone's life terrible because you're a little monster. And yeah, I'm fucking pissed because right now, because of you dumb motherfuckers, I can be spending six months in prison, which I'm fighting like hell to get out of. Because I know I didn't do anything wrong. I was protecting myself, my property, and my family, and my dwelling. And every man has a right to fucking do that. Every man has a right to protect his family, his dwelling, his home, his family, and himself. Like I said, Joseph Lawson showed up here to incite a riot, use fighting words, and with those fighting words, he did what he did and tried to be a vigilante, which all three of those things are illegal. 
I don't know how many different ways he can try to say it, guys. But everyone, Cyrax didn't do anything wrong. Everyone else is wrong, and Cyrax is right because he decided so. So just please, drop the charges. So I dare someone to contest that. Don't blame me. Look up the laws. Prove me wrong. I dare you. Because none of you can. Because I was in the right in doing what I did. It may have been a little bit extreme, but guess what? When you threatened me a couple months prior by having a picture of shotgun shells saying you're going to show up here, and then you show up here to incite a riot using fighting words and pretending to be a vigilante and you're up in my face and my family's faces guess what I have, every, I have every right to do what I need to do to protect myself because I did feel threatened by that guy I didn't know what he was gonna do I didn't know what this dude was gonna pull so Marty I hope you're happy with what you started, motherfucker. Because you're the one that started all this five to six years ago. And it needs to stop. Now. I'm tired of being quiet about this shit. You've never been quiet about anything ever. I mean, not only have you been screaming for the past 15 minutes, you make one of these videos, like, daily. I don't know why you think... You can, you can say you've been quiet, even though you've never been quiet. Like I said, I don't deserve this. My family don't deserve this. And I don't need to be in this situation. I'm just a normal dude out here trying to make music and do anything I can to make an honest living. I don't deserve this at all. And if you think I do, well, you're welcome to prove me wrong. Well, yes, they will prove you wrong. That's that's what court is for, to prove you wrong. But, you know, just more stupid Cyrax shit. He's trying to weasel his way out of his trouble, like he always does. It's probably not going to work this time, though. We'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.